Rescue, now to Spanish Fork, where the community is mourning the loss of a two-year-old boy who wandered away from his father during a football practice and was later found in a nearby canal where he drowned. ABC 4's Lenny Castro joining us live from Spanish Fork tonight where a candlelight vigil was held in that little boy's honor. Elena. Students, the football team, and members of the community all came out tonight to pay their respects and to show their support for football coach Lance Burrell and his family. It was only last Friday that two-year-old Emmett Burrell came to football practice with his father when police say he wandered away. The football team, along with members of the community, came out to help in the search. The news that followed sent shockwaves throughout the community. American Leadership Academy's director, Rich Morley, shared with us the beautiful moments Emmett and the players had just before he went missing. They'd been holding him, he'd been playing on the, the, the coaches, he'd been dancing to the music, uh, being part of practice. They, the last video we've got of him was he was taking a ride on a bike with one of the coaches around the, the players. They'd just gotten off, they'd gotten a great video of him kind of hanging out, him just kind of living his best life. After Emmett had been found, Morley explained just how pained the school and community have been. The team went to the hospital in support of Coach Lance Burrell after it all happened. Morley going on to say that through tragedy, the outpouring of love and support from the community has been beautiful to see. They know who their neighbor is, he said. Tonight's vigil was for those involved to come together and pay homage to someone this team loved so much. Tonight, uh, at the request of uh, the coach and the assistant coaches, they wanted to bring the, the they really appreciated the help of the community, the boys, the players, the families that, that, that kind of really surrounded and swarmed in on Friday to try to help. They wanted to have a moment of kind of closure. We are told that Coach Burrell wouldn't want this to situation to slow anyone down, and he wants people to keep on living life. Reporting live from Spanish Fork, Elena Castro, ABC4 News. All right, such a tragic story there. Our hearts go out to the family. Thank you so much, Elena.